guys and welcome to home with lace my name is Lacey and welcome to my channel if you are new here thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you like what you see if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for your support it doesn't go unnoticed and I appreciate every view and every comment so behind me I have my completed breakfast nook and I want to take you on the journey of how we completed this look and here we are with the before as you can see the walls were red and then they painted them the same pink to match And it wouldn't be a Home With Lace video if I didn't put shiplap somewhere in this room. So we completed this wall with horizontal shiplap that is painted in Valspar Pure White. Keeping it just on this one wall would satisfy my fix, but also keep this room a little bit more modern. And now that the wall is done, I'm just going to add some caulk to make it a more seamless and professional look. And then I will be painting over the pink with Valspar Origami White. So here we're laying down the underlayment so that we can start putting down the acacia engineered hardwood flooring.
If you have seen other videos, you will know that we recently moved here in April and we have been renovating this house to make it our aesthetic and our style and just make it feel more like home for us. If you're interested in seeing any of those renovations, I will leave the link right here. But just remember to come back and watch this video. Down through the haze in the face of defeat, yeah I was ruled out with no bail out on my own All alone left to bleed out But I rose up from the ground Just like I was real bound All the odds were against me So I picked up the page And now to complete this project, I had a small mini haul. I don't even know if you can call it a haul because it's literally just a couple items, but I feel like they're gonna just kind of make the place a little bit more cozy. So here is the mini haul. So I am going to start with changing out my curtains with these Opal House light filtering curtains and they have these cute little tassels on them and I feel like that will just add a little pop of color if you follow me on Instagram at home with lace you will have seen this little quick DIY project I made with old yogurt containers and then just popping in a little succulent there These are a birthday present. My birthday was just a couple weeks ago. And this is a birthday present from my husband. This right here is a lumbar pillow from Walmart. It was on clearance. The original price, I believe, was $16. And I got it for $10. I really like the detailing on it. It's a gray and white. There's some black here. And then I like this braid pattern here that goes throughout. It also has tassels, which I thought would tie in nicely with the curtains. And then I have this oval shelving unit here. I love the detailing on this with the gold metal frame here. And then the wood detail here. And then I have this planter that I got from Home Goods. It actually pops out. And then the base that it came on. And I thought that was really cute. making a coffee station so stay tuned for the next video as I transform an old hutch into a coffee bar.
all the items I'm placing on the shelf, I just shopped my home for. Let's take a look at the before one more time. And now the after. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we are now at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this makeover, give this video a thumbs up. And let me know what you thought in the comment box down below. For more sneak peeks and just day-to-day -day activity, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at homewithlace. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.